You may have heard Dr. Tedros, the head of the World Health Organization, talking about the twin threats of Delta and Omicron. But whether it's a twin threat to you in your particular part of the world, well, that depends. I'm going to show you some maps, first of all, from our world in data. The red map is showing Omicron infections, or at least where Omicron is more prevalent. Pretty easy to see, and no surprise that down in South Africa, that's where we first saw uh, Omicron, also Australia, uh, India and Russia. But I would draw your attention to Europe. Have a look. The UK, yes, we know there is a prevalence of Omicron in the UK, but the rest of Europe is not as badly affected. It is dealing with Delta. Change to the blue map. And actually, I'll change back and forth. Have a look at the change across Europe between the Omicron and the Delta maps. You can see there is a lot more Delta to deal with in uh, Europe as there is in South America and parts of Southeast Asia. Now, just to give this a slightly different take, I've chosen nine different countries here and we're looking at their share of different infections. The red is Omicron, the blue are Delta infections. So starting at the top, South Africa has got a rate of 96% Omicron. Now, maybe that's a good thing, having more cases of the milder variant. Further down the list, let's look at the United States, for example, here, which has sort of got a 60-40 split between the two. But I think what's interesting, and I'm going to try to draw a box around all of them here, are these European countries. Italy, France and Germany, with rates of 80 to 90% of Delta the more concerning variant, if I can put it that way, of COVID-19. And maybe that's why their restrictions are a little bit tighter in those sorts of countries. The question now is, is Omicron perhaps the lesser of two evils?